Hi, I'm Matt. Okay. Hi, I'm Angela. Trying to adjust this. And uh, we are in the car, out running around. Uh, just left a junk store. They call it a junk store. Uh, looking for some stuff. So, uh, we're going to do the uh, embarrassing tag video. So, uh, answer embarrassing questions about us. Angela's using a selfie stick because that's what kids nowadays use because we're cool and hip and stuff. So. Are we ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm just waiting on you. Okay, first question is Have you ever fallen down in public? Um. The answer to that is yes, I have fallen down in public, but Sorry. I can't think of any specific one. Um, I do remember I almost got in a fight with three kids because uh, they were walking down the street and I was uh, doing yard work and Ronnie was out there with me and he was watching them and tripped over a potted plant and they started laughing. And I was like, hey, what if you tripped? And I started laughing at you. And the kid gave me some several explicit words. And I told him, I was like, hey, 14 year olds sure are mouthy these days. And they go, I'm not 14, I'm in high school. And I'm like, okay. But no, whenever I think of falling down, that's the only one I think of. Oh, and then they got like 100 feet or so away and started screaming back at me that I wasn't gonna do nothing. But, uh, yeah, that, whenever I think of falling, oh, I, I've got a speaking ticket here, so I need to slow down because oh yes, it drops please. very dusty. Okay, have you ever fallen down? Um, I don't recall ever falling down, like, all the way. Um, I have, like, stepped in the hole a couple times and, like, twisted my ankle, but I've never gone down to the ground. Not in public, at least. Yeah. I do remember one time I was on the phone with you, and the boys were playing outside with water. Yeah. And you slipped in the laundry and broke your toe while I was on the phone with you. Yeah, that's why I just said not in public. But you fall down a lot because you're always tripping over nothing. <laughs> really? I love you. I'm not falling down a lot. Alright, so um, what's the next question? Are you married to an a-hole? Yes, I am. <laughs> Hold on, I got a lot of pop-ups. I got something that pops phone. up. Oh my gosh. What? Anyways, have you ever accidentally exposed a private body part? Okay, you go first this time. Um, just the time I was at um, Westwood Swimming Pool and I decided to... Wait, what's, what's, what's Westwood Swimming Westwood Pool? Westwood Swimming Pool is a water... A, water park in here in Norman. Well, so it's a public pool? It's a public pool, yeah. Um, and I decided to, that I was going to, we just, my friends and I decided we were going to jump off the diving board. And uh, I was wearing a bikini. Oops. And I decided to jump off the high dive. And uh, yeah, lost my top. Like did it completely come off? It was like floating away? Yeah, or? yes. It was, yeah, it was, I don't know, I don't know, major wardrobe malfunction, okay? <laughs> uh, you, so, did anyone see any comment? Yeah, I wasn't flat chested at the time, let's just put it that way. How old were you? <laughs> I was a teenager. I don't remember exactly, I just know I was a teen. See, mine involves a family reunion uh, in Elk City, Oklahoma. It was uh, the Vermilion Family Reunion, which is my grandma's side of the family. And um, in Elk City, it was always be, like the majority of the people would be at a Holiday Inn because we come out and we basically take over the swimming pool. And so we're swimming in the swimming pool and I was in the Marine Corps, so, you know, I was all in shape and everything. And, um, I decided, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy a brand new swimming suit. So I bought a brand new Nike uh, pair of board shorts that were all white. And I jump into the swimming pool 
and I'm swimming around and having fun and everything. And I go to get out of the swimming pool and I get out of the swimming pool and I stand up and one of my cousins is just staring at me. He's like, that all white swimming suit became see-through. And the water wasn't necessarily warm. So yeah, um, you could completely see everything. So uh, it was like completely see-through at a family reunion with my grandma there and my grandpa there and all my aunts and uncles. Yeah, it was, yeah. Hobby Lobby where Angela and I met and we were I was trying to get her to understand that I, I, I liked her and we were saying something we were in oh we were in the classroom there and it was her myself and one other girl and I'm just talking to her you know and the other girls in there she's sitting there talking and then the thing about this, a conversation about dating came up and Angela was doing the schedule and she was putting me on the returns register like she always did oh, and um, we were doing the schedule and then I think the girl in there started talking about dating or something and you go yeah I see them they're coming over oh. and you go yeah Matt's supposed to be taking me out on a date and I turned bright red and sprinted out of the room as fast as I could. And I came around the door and I'm standing there like breathing hard. My chest is pounding. Like I'm actually starting to sweat. That's how, you know, uh, have you ever been so embarrassed in your face and you get hot and you're sweating? And I'm standing there actually, actually verbally saying, okay, is she just joking? Is she messing with you? she's just messing with you because she knows that you have a crush on her and I went back in there and I don't remember what I said when I went back in there but I was just I don't know I was really embarrassed I'm sure I was stumbling over my words and bumbling and all that stuff so yeah have you I mean, I can't re recall anything. Nothing sticks out. So, I mean, I'm, sh I'm sure there's been something back in grade school, but I really, I don't remember anything. So, okay. can't comment. What's the next question? And you're saying it first because, uh, yeah, I said the last one. Have you ever gotten stage fright or had an had an embarrassing performance? stage fright. No, I mean, golly, because I, I was in dance, but, um, I, I'm, one thing I can remember it was, um, we were doing a routine and dance. We were uh, doing a competition and, um, we had a, a malfunction with our music and some of the other girls, decided to just stop when the music stopped and I was the only one that kept going and that was a little odd for me but I mean it wasn't really embarrassing but people did start laughing mine involves dancing as well um, I am a horrible dancer I mean horrible cannot dance in any stretch of the imagination but I love to goof off, goof off and have fun, so I'll kind of wiggle. And um, I remember the church I used to go to that we used to go to, and then they completely turned on us once we got married and, you know, started saying that we only got married because we got pregnant. And I'm like, really? Because she's not pregnant. But, uh, yeah, all that stuff. 
but um long story short i was uh there was a big youth it was like a week-long youth event and i was one of the helpers for the youth group and they had a dance off of course they had the kids first and they had all the sponsors and i got physically shoved up there and i can't dance and so I start to kind of wiggle and then people started to boo. So I tried to do a flip and landed flat on my face. Flat on my face to the point, like I was seeing stars. So yeah, that was my embarrassing <laughs> moment. Plus I don't like being out in front of people. So uh, what's the next question? Have you ever been drunk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you have an embarrassing story? Yeah. Um, I was, okay, okay, I was in the Marine Corps, I believe this was early, early 2007, slash very, very late 2006, because OU was playing the Big 12 Championship, I believe it was against Nebraska, and I was at Miramar Air Station, of course, the, after my uh, divorce in the Marine Corps, um, I was basically always drunk because I, I never got to see my son. Um, shit. Um, okay, standpoint. So um, I was always drunk, and um, I'm watching the game, and I had a bottle of Captain Morgan, and she knows that my favorite drink is a rum and coke. And I had a bottle of Coke, and I, you know, drink it. And when I get drunk, you, you've never seen me fully drunk, but how red my face gets. I get really, really hot. So I'm watching the game, and the longer the game's going on, we're winning. And I'm drinking, and, you know, it got to the point where I went from this little rum and Coke, and that much Coke, or this much rum, that much Coke, to that much rum, and that much Coke. Well, I polish off the entire bottle of uh, Captain Morgan by myself and by the end of the game I am butt naked minus my house shoes or my little slippers and there's people outside smoking I run out there butt naked to celebrate tell them we won and they look at me and they're like dude you're naked and I go yeah but we won and I proceed to do a lap around and it's kind of like an apartment complex type thing you got three stories. I was on the second story, so I go down the stairs, and there's a whole bunch of different units around. So I'm doing a lap around this, screaming, "We won! We won!" And I'm butt naked. You know, everything's just swinging in the wind. I'm butt naked, running around, and luckily it was fairly no, not fairly late at night because I was in California. But yeah, running, I'm running around butt naked, and people thought that was hilarious, and I was drunk. So, what about you? Yes, I've been drunk. Have any funny A lot stories? Of times. Unfortunately. No, I haven't been drunk lately. Well, no, I haven't. No. What was it? My tooth was really hurting, and the whiskey was numbing my tooth, and I took. Um, yeah. Mm. I mean, yeah, I. Oh golly! I, if I say if I tell any story, it's gonna make me seem like one of those drunks. I know one of those friendly people. I know when I made the uh, tequila, I bought a bottle of tequila, and I poured I don't know like a third of it out, and I took the um, ghost peppers and cut them up and put in there, mm -hmm. and I put a lot like I put what over a dozen ghost peppers in there. So the tequila didn't fit. It was equivalent of like one or two shots. You haven't eaten anything all day and you drank, just took it. And then you were in the living room and fell over and like tripped on a ball. Mm -hmm. Like one of those big yoga exercise balls and you tripped and you just hit the ground and you were cracking up. And um, yeah. yeah. Now I keep trying to get you to drink tequila because you get friendly on tequila. Okay, well, let's What's that not country say, song? Like, What's hold that? on, hold on. I, yeah, I get friendly, but not like that. I'm your husband. Okay, but I mean, even with strangers, I don't like... Oh, What's that country oh, song, just, Tequila Makes Her Clothes Come you know, Off? Not with strangers. 
I didn't say Although, I'm not a husband. I'm not a stranger. Although that sounds. Right. Although we Although, can play that game. Stop it. The night at the club when it was a whole like a big group of us, and they just it was someone's birthday party, and they just kept bringing drinks to everyone. And I think I had I don't even know I lost count of how many margaritas I had that night, but I was just going and going and going. And they there were some a uh, couple girls were like hey I dare you to go take these. I'll give you some dollar bills and go out there on the dance floor. Some guys were out there messing around. They were drunk and they were taking their shirts off. I go, I, I they told, dared me to go put, give them some, a couple dollar bills. So I did. Okay. So are we it's done with the video? I'm very done with the video. Who are we going to tag? I don't know. Sure. Um, sure. TV chips. It's hot in here. TV Chips, I tag you. Metal Nerd, I tag you. I think everyone else is tag. I'll send y'all. I'll send y'all the video, or I'll send y'all a message telling you I tag you. So TV Chips and Metal Nerd. And Metal Nerd, I'd like to see your wife in the video. I'd like to you two to do it together. So, uh, bye. Bye. Mom, please don't watch this. Uh, why are you saying at the end? It's too late.